A-side and B-side, the A-side usually features a recording that its artist, producer, or record company intends to be the initial focus of promotional efforts and radio airplay and hopefully become a hit record. The first sound recordings were produced in the late 19th century using cylinder records, which held approximately two minutes of audio stored upon a single round surface. In June 1948, Columbia Records introduced the modern 3313 RPM long-playing microgroove vinyl record for commercial sales, and its rival RCA Victor, responded the next year with the 7-inch 45 RPM vinyl light record, which would quickly replace the 78 for single record releases. Conventions shifted in the early 1960s, at which point record companies started assigning the song they wanted radio stations to play to side A, as 45 RPM single records dominated most markets in terms of cash sales in comparison to albums, which did not fare as well financially. FM rock stations did not like to play monaural content, so the record companies adopted a protocol for promotional recordings for disc jockeys with the mono version of a song on one side and a stereo version of the same song on the other. Record companies started to use singles as a means of promoting albums, they frequently placed album tracks that they wished to promote on side A and less accessible, non-album, instrumental songs on side B. In order to ensure that radio stations played the side that the record companies wanted to promote, they often marked one side of a record's label as a plug side. The distinction between the two sides became less meaningful after the introduction of cassettes and compact disc singles in the late 1980s when 45 RPM vinyl records began to decline. At first, cassette singles would often have one song on each side, matching the arrangement of vinyl records. A double A side, A A side, or dual single is a single where both sides are designated the A side, with no designated B side, that is, both sides are prospective hit songs and neither side will be promoted over the other. In 1965, Billboard reported that due to a disagreement between Emmy and John Lennon about which side of the Beatles we can work it out and Day Tripper single should be considered the A-side and receive the plugging, Emmy settled for a double-side promotion campaign unique in Britain. They continued to use the format for the release of the singles Eleanor Rigby and Yellow Submarine in 1966, followed by Strawberry Fields Forever slash Penny Lane in 1967 and Something slash Come Together in 1969. A double A-sided single is often confused with a single where both sides, the A and the B, became hits. Artists having the most US double-sided singles on which each side charted in the US Hot 100, according to Billboard, Perry Como and Nat King Cole both had additional double-sided singles on Billboard's pre-1955 charts, 1D58135968.